What's up guys, Chan here with Rise Magic and today I'm gonna to do a video I probably should have done a really long time ago. Top five beginner cardistry moves. The reason I wanna do this video is because one of the most common questions I get asked on the viral ASMR series is, hey, I've never seen this before, but I wanna learn it. Where do I start? Well, the answer is right here on this video. Now, if you're not a beginner, I do have two additional top fives, top five essential cardistry moves and top five advanced cardistry moves. So you're gonna to wanna to go check those out if you want some more advanced essential stuff. But for now, these are the five most basic, different types of moves that you can start learning today. Also, some free tips on them. Coming in at number one, we have the classic thumb fan. This is a very, very easy flourish to learn, but it does take a long time to master and get down to the point where it looks even and beautiful every single time. Hobbs, relax, Hobbs, sit. Side note, my boy Hobbs is huge. He's almost 60 pounds now at only three months old. Hobbs, say hi to everybody. And then we're back to it. Okay, just be quiet. So the thumb fan takes a long time to master, but the general idea of it, I taught my girlfriend it in just, you know, 20 minutes. It's really not that difficult. The key things to keep in mind is that where you keep your thumb and pivot point will determine the size and shape of the fan. You really want to pay attention to that. Secondly, when you smear it with your thumb, you're going to want to do a very even and smooth motion. Now, the most important tip I could give someone who's just learning it is to bevel the deck. Don't hold the deck like a square brick. When you do it, bevel it a little bit so that your thumb has more room to evenly smear that deck. If you need more instruction than that quick TikTok style tutorial, well, I'll leave a link to a full tutorial down below. I'm not going to make one myself because there's already quite literally hundreds of them out there. Coming in at number two, we have the Charlie A cut. Now, this move is extremely easy. It doesn't matter how big or small your hands are. And if you're playing card games with your friends and haven't done any sort of card shoot before, it does just make you look very skilled with a deck of cards. Us cards are like, that's the most basic thing in the world. But in reality, the most basic thing in the world in terms of cardistry looks cool to a layman. So Grant has a tutorial that's gonna teach you the Charlie A cut, as well as a few advanced one-handed cuts. That's a great place to start. I'll leave a link to both of those videos down below. Coming in at number three, we have the four packet Sybil cut. This is really the backbone to any other two-handed cut you're gonna learn. Almost every single two-handed cut starts off in this Z grip, and lots of them use that Sybil formation and Sybil movement for how they start to flourish. Stop. No. Sorry, I'm petting Hobbs underneath the camera here so he stops trying to eat expensive decks of cards. Coming in at number four, we have the classic card dribble. But not any sort of dribble. I'm gonna teach you with your pinky and thumb. The reason I'm gonna teach you with your pinky and thumb is because if you learn to dribble cards like this, you're gonna be able to do cool little twists like that, and it'll set you up for being able to do an awesome anaconda in the future. Anaconda is a much more advanced move, but if you just practice dribbling the cards and letting them off one by one with your thumb and pinky, with your other three fingers straight across the rest of the cards, it's gonna look amazing. You're gonna be able to do some cute little things with it, but most importantly, it'll set you up to do something really awesome in the future. Even when you can't do that anaconda awesome, it still looks cool just to triple the cards. People will freak out if you're playing poker. They probably won't let you deal anymore. Lastly, at number five, we're gonna go with a card throw or flick. My personal favorite one is when you shoot it off your thumb in a flicking motion. We do teach this on our three awesome ways to throw cards tutorial, but I do think that this is a lot cooler than just throwing a card. Obviously, when you just throw a card with your arm like you're throwing a baseball, it's gonna be a lot more powerful than this, but when you flick it off your thumb, you can get really, really accurate the more you do it. It doesn't damage the cards, it's not throwing that fast, but it's really accurate and it makes it look like you really know what you're doing and it looks effortless because you're just flicking them and they have this velocity to them. It's really impressive, most people love it. And then, I'll even link this in the description, once you get really good at it, you could shoot it up and catch it in the fan. This is my first take, we're gonna give it a shot. Fan, flick, and caught it in the fan. See, once you, once you get it down, you can just knock it out of the park right there, but I am still very satisfied with myself that I did that first try. All right, guys, so there you have it. The five beginner karshi moves you need to start with when you're learning karshi for the first time. I know for lots of you guys, you're more advanced cardists. Like I said, if you are, I have other top five videos on more advanced flourishes. 
or you can just scroll through the Car Street ASMR description and find moves that you wanna learn from there. But I hope this was really helpful for beginners out there. I'll see you next week. And by the way, next week, Rice Playing Cards are all shipped out. Cannot wait to see you guys send me Instagram DMs, pictures, everything about the cards. I am literally through the roof excited to finally have all the cards in your guys' hands. I'm so excited. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next week. Peace out.